Hey everyone, I'm Harley Industry, nice to see you over here. And in this video, we are going to review an amazing plugin called Yay Swatches that will allow you to create amazing swatches in terms of color, buttons, and more. So if you're ready, let's start. So let's not waste our time and let's start right away. First of all, we are going to the backend of our WordPress website, then to plugins and clicking on add new plugin. Afterward, on the search line, you can type PA swatches and here is the result. Simply click on install now or activate. Another way to upload this is to click on upload plugin button over here, then upload the plugin. I have the zip file of the pro version, so I uploaded it this way. To access the plugin, simply go to WooCommerce and click on Yay Swatches. And over here, we can see all the amazing settings that it offers. So, first of all, we can see variant option settings with a drag and drop down menu such as drop down list, color or custom image swatch, automated variant image swatches, buttons or radios. Uh, we can choose one of these options, whatever we would like to, but we're going uh, to come back to this one a bit later, so let's uh, take a look at the other options. Uh, down below we have Swatch Customizer, which allows us to customize the swatch color or image on our product page. And uh, over here we even have the preview, so we can see how it looks. Uh, we have swatch style, such as circle and square, and it will show in the preview. Uh, the look of it, we have um, sizes, uh, small, medium, large, custom, let's just leave it at the medium. Uh, we even have border color selection, which can be gray, uh, the active and normal color. Uh, let's just leave the active color in white, but so if you want to change, you always can change it. For example, I can change it to red, yellow or any other color that I would want to. Same goes with the active color. Uh, down below we have variant name tooltip, which we can enable or disable. I'm leaving it at the disabled. We have image position that can be fit, top, bottom or center, which changes the image position as you can see in the preview. We have button customizer down below uh, and it allows us to customize the swatch button on our product pages. Uh, it once again offers us sizes such as small, medium and large. We have button color, background color, uh, for example, we can choose again active and normal color for the background, we can choose border color and we can even uh, choose and change the text color. Uh, down below we have single product sold out customizer which uh, shows us uh, and allows us to customize the appearance of out of stock variants. Um, I prefer to leave it at the uh, cross because I think cross is like very easy to understand that it is not available. Then we have Shopware Categories Customizer that allows us to customize swatches on collection page. And here we can choose the display on Shopware Categories page. We can mention one of the options of sold out customizers again, show out of stock variants or hide out of the stock variants um, and choose the styles. Uh, besides uh, styles, we can also choose swatch sizes and uh, picture size. Once again, let's just leave it at the cross one because the other one I think we chose the not display and at the end of the day whatever customization you make simply click on save changes uh, to make sure that everything is saved. Uh, as I said before we are going back over here and uh, let's choose the variant option settings. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it around the color or custom image swatch and I added the images near every color presented for the product. Uh, we can of course choose some others such as buttons, automated variant image swatches, etc. But I prefer to leave it at this. Uh, now let's go to our products and let's check out all the products. Let's go to the shirt and in order to be able to customize and use the swatches on your product, you need to choose variable product settings, then go to attributes, select all the attributes for the variable products. I have sizes, I have colors and styles. Uh, then we go to variations 
and we are adding variation for each of those. Uh, this, for example, the blue one is available for men, the pink and white one are available at any size or any style, so both for women and men. And down below, after all of these are done, we can access the Yay Swatches settings and change it to default, color option or the other options. But I'm going to leave it all at default and click on Save Changes. Now let's visit the product page. And finally, we are able to see the product with all the customizations that we have made. Uh, for example, in the swatches page, we have the swatches presented and as the images. We can choose any size or any style and click on various swatches to be able to see if that is available for the purchase. And this is basically uh, how your customers are going to experience it. You can add any other variation, any other swatch that you would like. You can even just leave it at the color option without adding the images. Uh, whatever you feel that your customers will be more comfortable using with. And all the settings that we mentioned before are simply saved over here, as we did in the backend. So guys, this was all I wanted to tell you. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, do not forget to share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in this topic. Thank you, see you in the next video. Bye!